Hi, I'm here to give you an overview of IDEA, an easy to use data analysis tool that will help you gain insights and gather information from your data. To begin with, I'll start by going over some of the user interface elements and explain what each one does. This is what IDEA looks like when you open up the application for the first time. The active IDEA project can be found by looking at the status bar, which is located at the bottom of the application. It also shows you the folder path for the project, the number of records in the active database, and the disk space available in the project folder. All tasks in IDEA are accessible through the IDEA ribbon located at the top of the application. The IDEA ribbon organizes all tasks under eight default tabs that display a group of related tasks. To create a new project or to open an existing project, click on the new or the open button located under home tab on the IDEA ribbon. For demonstration purposes, I will continue using the currently open samples project. The file explorer shows a list of all files in your current project. It also shows you the number of records in each database, the size of the file, the modified date and creation date, as well as any parent-child relationships which may exist between the databases. To open a database, simply double click it. This opens the file in the main window. If you select a cell and try to type, you will see that you cannot change the data. This ensures data integrity and helps mitigate the risk of accidentally changing or deleting data. The options in the properties window are used to change what information shows in the main window or to display information about the contents of the active database. Data is selected by default when a database file is opened and shows the actual data in the active file. History is used to display a list of all tasks run against a file. Field statistics will show you details about the data, such as the earliest date, the largest value, the number of records, and so on. Numeric data has different properties than the date data. Both of these are different from the time data, and so the contents for each type are slightly different. The control total is used to keep a total of any numeric fields visible on the screen. Criteria is used to open the equation editor, a tool to help you build equations. We'll talk more about this later. Other items in the property pane include results, indices, and comments. These items will also be discussed later in the tutorial. At the bottom of the file explorer, there is the library tab, which shows you other project related files. At the very bottom of the idea window, there are two flyout windows which come up when either performing a search or running a task. Last item that I would like to mention for this video is that you can view the license information by going to the file tab on the idea ribbon and then selecting help. You can also access the help from this location. Thanks for watching this video.